quanto è bella, quanto è cara. Dimitri, thank you for coming and spending the afternoon here at Bug Eye Guy. Now tell us why you came. What, what, what is this? What's the deal with you and these cars? Well, I, I, uh, I first came across a Bug Eye in 2009. I was singing the Elixir of Love in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And um, uh, my character plays a mechanic and he's working on his, the love of his life, which is his Bug Eye. And uh, throughout the opera, the Bug Eye comes together and comes to life more and more. Um, and it also kind of ran parallel with his other love, which is a woman who wanted nothing to do with him. And in the end, he gets both the car and the woman, which is really nice. So that's what happens to all Bug Eye owners. That's right. Eventually, yeah. Some some sooner than others. So, uh, <laughs> But wait, Elixir of Love. Now, so what is the story? Of, who wrote that? What it's, is by, it's, it's by a, an Italian guy named Gaetano Donizetti. Uh, and he... Um, it's a, it's a comedy. It's actually a really funny opera written in Italian about uh, a, a guy. He's kind of considered a country bumpkin most of the time. Um, and he's in love with a girl and she doesn't want anything to do with him. And uh, so along comes this traveling salesman kind of guy, this quack doctor. And he sells him what he thinks is Isolde's elixir of love so that, so that his love will fall in love with him. But it's really just a bottle of Bordeaux wine. So he ends up getting drunk in the process, um, makes the girl jealous because he's suddenly paying no attention to her whatsoever. And uh, in the meantime, his uncle, who's a millionaire, dies and it makes him the talk of the town. So all these other girls suddenly fall in love with him at the same time, makes her even more jealous and helps her realize that she's really in love with him too. And so that's how they get together in the end. Well, wait, when, when he wrote this, what? The car, what year was it then? <laughs> no, when he wrote it, there was no car involved. The bug eyes weren't there yet. I mean, this is a couple, you know, a hundred, hundred and something years old, this opera. And then so someone adapted it? Someone so adapted they... it and updated it to the 19, to the mid 19 hundreds and so that's where the bug eye comes in so you can always put different characters in different situations as long as you're telling the story with sincerity and so we updated it so that Nemorino my character was a mechanic and he was working on his car and he was living he was working across the way from Adina who in our production was um, the proper proprietor of a um, an oil uh, uh, olive oil, you know, like a grove that grows olives to make <laughs> olive oil. So that's how that's how we interpreted that show. Okay. Yeah. All so, right. um, <laughs> and in the end of the show, they um, when they finally get together, there's a couple of moments where they actually get into the car and they kind of start making out, and it's really funny. It was it's really a great it's a great show. And uh, so ever since I did that show for the first time in 2009, I've had bug eyes on the brain. And I was fortunate enough about two weeks ago to do the production again. And I was reunited with this car that I love so much. Well, wait, and that's... wait. So, so this is a stage car. Tell, tell everyone yeah. who didn't see so, the photos. It's, it's, a, um, it's a late model midget um, that um, they just managed to throw the bonnet of a, of a 59 Bug Eye on top of it. So in the meanwhile, in order to make it stage friendly, they gutted it. So there's no, there's no engine, there's no transmission, everything's just gone, there's nothing in it. Um, and I had to push it on stage myself too, so, and, and you know, be able to control it and move it what I liked. So they rigged it so that it was stage friendly. I actually changed, t t changed the tire in the middle of the show. Um, and I was um, playing with the spark plugs and things too. It was just, it was very fun, but it was very, um, it was a skeleton, really, of what and, a real car would and be. Are you singing while you're adjusting this? The whole voice? time. There's, I mean, it's an opera. There's no time that I'm not singing on stage. So, so, so you're reaching under the hood. Yeah, and singing yeah. I mean, I literally like my first, my first number. Um, I'm coming. I come out and I'm gonna. I'm cleaning the car. I'm just kind of wiping it down and I'm admiring the love of my life who wants nothing to do with me. And so I start singing while I'm doing it. So I'm going. Quanto è bello, quanto è cara. That's what I was doing. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So now you decided you need one to drive around. Are you going to sing the same way while you probably? Driving? I'll probably yeah. I'll sing a lot of, as loud as I can. Yeah. It's just it's a pleasure to drive. It's a pleasure to be in. It's an eye looker, you know. And uh, and and uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because you only live once and 
something that brings me so much pleasure. Why don't I have it in my life? And so I, you know, I worked hard, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna enjoy it now. So you're thinking of taking this one home? I'm thinking of taking this beautiful cherry home with me, yeah. Um, it's the same color car as uh, my father had. He, had. he had an Alfa Romeo when I was growing up, and it was this cherry red. It's the real color. It's not, it's not like a hot rod red that you see out there that all these cars are made of. I mean, this is a looker, it's a turner, it's just, it's perfect. And it's it's got a it's got a it's got an attitude that's completely different. It doesn't say you know I'm it, it doesn't say I'm a hot rod. It says I'm sexy. I, you know I'm just I'm cherry red. I, I totally dig it. <laughs> that's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing what happens next Absolutely. in the next act. <laughs> yeah, the next act, the finale. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Thank you so much for coming up and visiting us at Bug Eye Guy. It's just a pleasure. Absolutely, it's great to be here. Thanks.